Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and today I have an open box video for you. But you notice the box is pretty thin, so let's take a look and see something completely different. And we're going to take a look at a real nice piece of U.S. currency, a nice piece of U.S. history. Um, just think of how many votes this would have bought in Chicago uh, back in the day. So uh, the coin, the coin. <laughs> I practice. So the note is from the Chicago district. So on U.S. currency, there's 12 different districts, and the district will have both a number assigned to it, the 7, which will correspond with a letter, the G. It'll also tell you the bank right there where it actually says Chicago, Illinois. So those are ways that you will know uh, which district. The series number, when you look these up, uh, is in two different locations on here. The series number is over here, the 34A. It's also on the left side, the 34A. Let's take a look at the back of the note here. The United States of America, $1,000. And the note itself is really quite, quite lovely. You'll see um, what you look for on a lot of these is going to be the corners. You see that Pretty sharp. It's got a little rounding to it. And then I always like to look close at U.S. currency because the embossing and the design and everything is just so beautiful uh, and so intricate. And that's always been one of my favorite things about currency is looking at the detail. And most of it is things that you don't see usually when you uh, just look at it from a distance. You'll notice something that the paper here isn't white necessarily. It has these little red and blue fibers in it. That was an anti-counterfeiting device, and it is something to look for in your older currency. You look for that paper. You look for those, uh, those little blue fibers and red fibers in that paper. So uh, PMG, which is NGC's paper money uh, certification company, called this a choice about uncirculated note. Uh, they did not feel that it warranted being called uh, being called uncirculated. Uh, it's a really, really tough grade. Uh, notes are really hard to grade between uh, almost uncirculated and uncirculated. Uh, especially this note, which I, I I honestly thought would come back uncirculated because there weren't really any folds to be seen in it. Uh, you know, but there's not a big difference in price between something like an AU58 and an MS60. Either way, it's about a $25 or $2,600 note. Here's our buddy Grover Cleveland, looking quite dapper. And I just want to point out right at the top, you know, just some of the fibers, how they stick out on the note at the edge. And uh, that's, that's to me, is a sign that the note has not been, not been played with in any way. So a uh, shout out to anyone who collects high denomination notes, including high denominations on uh, Instagram, who I know has some beautiful stuff. I don't get these notes in that frequently anymore. And uh, it's just a lovely note. I thought I'd share it with you. All right. I'm Ben, the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin. You can subscribe by clicking on the button up in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.